today we're gonna be designing a claw machine in Blender. I really just want to put all my cute little assets that I've been making into one build together so I think a claw machine is just where it's at. So I'm wanting the claw machine itself to be frog themed because I love frogs, we've made so many frogs before and so I want there to be like a frog on the top and it to maybe be like purple and green or maybe purple and orange or green and orange I'm unsure about the color scheme at the moment but we'll work it out when we are texturizing and yeah I'm going to fill it full of all the little assets that I've made in the past few months including some of my cozy assets some of my frogs some of my shoes and literally everything in between so let's jump straight into blender all right so here we are in blender and we are going to make this cute little claw machine so here I am just sculpting that down at the starter cube and I'm just extruding up a lot of those faces and then extruding down some faces so that I can actually make the shape of the claw machine. This is coming together very quickly. I add a little bevel modifier to it as well so it rounds out the edges and then now I'm just making the control panel so I can do the three little knobs that you can use to get the little toys out of the machine. Of course I made a section over on the right hand side of it so that we could put a coin in. Now I'm just doing a little bit of decorating with that extra part. That part does nothing but it looks cute. Playing around with how to do the hole that the toy comes out of and I ended up subdividing the cube and then just deleting that and then copying it over I think I inset it I turned it into a circle there's so many things I just did and I don't know how to fully explain it to you but I made it look at that it's perfect it looks lovely and I do play around with this a lot more because it's a little bit uh, skew if but that's okay here I am making the knobs so that you can actually control the claw machine three little ones I don't know what three of them do together but uh, that's what they look like and then there's the little coin slot as well which I made gave a little bit more definition to these cute little knobs and now it's time to go in and model the actual claw itself so I'm just doing like the bit that holds the claw and I'm just going to like zigzag those pieces and then use the array modifier to um, array them down and make lots of them so it kind of just looks like this uh, which I think looks very cute and very realistic and then I just array it down just like that here I put the cursor into the center so that I could add in a circle and then actually make this claw and I think this claw was incredibly hard I've never modeled a claw before and I just kind of went off what I think a claw looks like and I think it looks really 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 fine to be honest with you. I'm extruding those vertices along the normals and then just bringing down those top ones so that we can then pull down more and make the claw. It looks complicated and when I was doing it I was like what how when and why really I was very confused but here I am doing the actual claw bit and I realized that they're too thin so I added a little bit of thickness to them just like that. If you look I did it around three times because there's three little claws on this so you can easily pick up the toys, add it in the subdivision modifier and then just add it in some more ge geometry using ring cuts so that it looked better. Then I put in a base for the little claw machine as well so everything could sit on something and then subdivided it so I could bring up the wall because I wanted you to be able to like drop the toy into the hole so I'm just trying to like work out how the heck to actually do that. So that was what that was looking like, very cute, looking well and I put it up a little bit and then I made a little hole in the top as well so you could drop the toy in. Here I am going in now to add in all of my cute little assets, put my favorite little frog in. He's like shocked that he's been like selected out of the claw machine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you watch me just place everything in and I will see you back here when I am texturizing everything. So this is what all the little toys are looking like and then I went in to add in all the textures. I wanted the claw machine to be green and then I also chose orange as the other color but I do end up changing that to purple because I just thought it wasn't as on brand without it being purple and green. Um, so I do change it to purple and green but yeah, I'm just fiddling around with all the texturing, what should be the different colors at the moment and I am loving how this looks. I love how all the little toys look in there. I love the frog that's like shocked. I went in and added a glass texture as well using the shaders tab so that you can actually see through the claw machine um, and I think the look of it looks so so good. Here I am changing that to like a purpley pink now because I didn't like the orange it just wasn't a vibe but look at it it's looking so good. We need to fix a couple things that were just clipping a little bit and yeah I'm really really happy with how this looked. All right I really enjoyed modeling this claw machine and let me now show you what it's looking like rendered. <laughs> 
I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to model in 3D. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciated it. And I will now see you in the next video.